Yeah, what's good, YT? It's your boy T Flash, aka Mr. Two Four Two, coming to you guys with another saucy banger in today's video. Bye, bye, bye. No, I'll be showing you guys top three, bro. Best build in NBA 2K20 after patch 10. Bro, after you make these builds, you won't have to make no other build unless something mad drastic happens. You won't have to do nothing else. Bro, as you see on screen right now, this is my first build, and it's gonna be my offensive threat, and this is the best build in the game. It has like an 85 three-pointer, it can speed boost, it gets all the contact dunks, it has like nine to 10 defensive badges. So I'm doing everything on the court that I need to as a point guard. I don't, I don't have nothing else crazy. I don't have to guard bigger people, so it doesn't even matter, you feel me? I'm just guarding people, like other guards and stuff. And this guard is does everything the, at the best ability, bro. He is the greatest. Like, let's look at the gameplay. Look what I'm doing to people. Don't, and I don't even have all my badges in this gameplay. I'm currently at 82 overall with, like, some of my gold Hall of Fame badges, bro. I don't really have all my badges yet. And I'm still going crazy. Look at that. Green. I'm faking people out here, dunking on them, all that, bro. But let's get right into the video, you feel me? All right, guys, now for the build, what you guys want to do is you want to pick the pie chart that has finishing and shooting. That's the one right there. Best pie chart in the game as of right now. So once you pick that one, you want to pick the physical profile, this one. You want so you're able to speed boost with that high vertical and stuff like that. At the end of the day, both these are going to be at like 95 or something. So it's still going to be in the high 90s. So you don't even have to worry about how all it looks low right now, bro. Your vertical's high, your acceleration's high, everything's the highest with this one right here. The second to the last one, so you pick that one right real quick. Yo, I'll be back as soon as I upgrade all my attributes, bro. Alright guys, now I'm back and this is exactly all the attributes you want to distribute over your players, bro. This is the best one to use. As you can see, you have almost 60 badges, bro. Like, is it even a question? You can shoot, dunk rebound the ball everything bro and as for your body type you want to pick define i usually have my player like six two because so you can speed boost earlier i will i mean six three and six two isn't much big of a difference plus your layup goes up and all that i will put mine up to six two plus you get more <clears throat> for your fucking mid-range so i put lowest weight bro don't matter how big you are bro your weight it doesn't really matter wingspan you're really short regardless bro so you might as well put that all the way down as i say you can make him 6'3 it wouldn't matter but i prefer to have my guard 6'2 and for the takeover i would put on that slashing takeover because it's the best takeover in the game next to that playmaking and defending in my opinion personally but let's get into the next build i right, got now this is the best build for point guards that still want to play guard but can't dribble anymore but bro if you can't dribble no more check out my new advanced dribble tutorial bro like what are you doing you feel me i have the best dribble moves in there too as well just check out my tutorials and you will be able to dribble but for you guys that just want like bro i'm, I'm want to get in the game i just want to play bro i ain't trying to learn no extra stuff this is the best build for you you want to pick that playmaking and defending pie chart and most people pick this first one bro you don't want that you want something with high vertical so you can dunk better grab better boards all that for me you just want to be able to jump higher bro and you still at the end of the day gonna have a 99 speed and all that bro you still gonna have it regardless so i'm gonna get back with you guys when i'm done feeling like that you go all right guys now i'm back you see just want to copy down all of the upgrades i did here and with this build bro you can have all the contact dunks that's all the elite contact dunk park alley -oop dunks every all those dunks your three point is what takes the biggest hit bro you can green with like a 72 or 73 three pointer bro it's not impossible once you have on one of my best jump shots you're gucci for me dribble you can dribble and you can play defense like that's one of the most important things and you have about 60 badges you have 61 badges bro what how many builds can say they have 61 badges this is the best build in the game i would usually have my players define nothing too crazy um also i probably have my players 6-5 i want to keep him at 6-5 because his dunk goes up too and nothing else really gets in the way for the ball handling once you get to 96 that's going to be an 86 regardless or you can buy a boost to get it to 90 so it doesn't really matter i will put my player to 6'5 lowest weight of course you don't get no extra points for being fat boy 
I'll have my wingspan the lowest as well, so my three-pointer can go up as well as my ball handling, feel me? But if you guys want a longer wingspan, I w you could do it, and you would still be able to speed boost once you're 99. But your three-pointer, as look, it goes to like a 69, you feel me? If you have everything maxed out. So I would just, if you you can leave it how it is, or you can put it a little bit shorter. I would like to put mine all the way down to the shortest one. And for the takeover i would pick either long down or slash it really depends on the type of player you are if you're a player that will like be having the ball a lot then you want to use the slasher one but then again if you're like gonna be like a two guard then you should use the lockdown takeover you feel me and that's this build the videos a rebounding wing and you have to make him a small forward you know pick that pie chart and what i did was i picked the second to the last physical profile the reason i did that is because my player has a higher vertical and since he's gonna be 6'9 bro he can crash into the paint grab boards over centers shoot all that bro you have to think of your player being a all-around player not just good to one specific thing because good players bro kd niggas could do it all bro rebounding wings plus your dunks is kind of high because you can catch lobs you want that lob city finisher contact finisher all of that if you cut in the paint a guard can just lob it to you and you can slam it down that's an easy two points almost every time and if your dunks high you can put on your park dunks that you know feel me is it's gonna be a little flashy where you going up feel me so that's why i love this build this build it's good to use on threes when you're playing with another guard like one of the guards that builds i told you guys before or you can even yo if you think want to be toxic i don't i won't respect you if you do it but you can go with a glass cleaner play tools bro you won't lose i'm telling you you want to lose, bro. Rebound the wing. I got the fourth build we'll be looking at is a center, bro. And that's going to be like a glass can lockdown that can shoot. Now, this build, excellent, bro. Bro, best center build in the game for threes. If you're not running this center build, what are you doing, bro? This center can space the floor, set big bodies all day. You can do everything you want in a build. Everything, bro. His defense, he got like 30 to almost 30 defensive badges, bro. And he can shoot his three pointers mad high. I made him 6'11, so, bro, he can still guard big centers and he can still hit shots. And you won't be affected by his height or long wingspan. And I picked the rim protector takeover because it's the most effective. You can stop anyone in the paint, even if a big center is bullying you. Good shot contest get to your takeover a lot faster. You feel me? And let's just go to our last build of the video. As you can see right here, it says glass clean lockdown.